Okay, here we go. Welcome to Kilborn 5 Services. Today, I'm going to be doing my first video on repairing a soft floor in a motorhome. It is a bonded floor or a sandwich floor or whatever you would like to like to call it. It's a sheet of phylon or with styrofoam and then another sheet of phylon and they're glued together to make a with the styrofoam sandwiched in between. So we have right now the styrofoam is broken down and we need to uh, fix it to make sh to make it so that the floor is no longer soft and squishy in the uh, in the areas that uh, are, of, are of high traffic. So here you go here I'll show you the floor. I've already started injecting epoxy into a portion of the floor as you can see there I've uh, those squares are six inches square and then I've drilled the holes into the soft portions of it down just through the top layer of phylon through the styrofoam and stopping at the bottom layer you don't want to drill a hole in the bottom layer or else all your epoxy is going to drip out through the bottom okay so I don't know if you'll be able to see how soft this floor is. We might have something here that I can set on the floor. I don't know if you can see that move or not. So, and then this is a portion of the floor which I've already started to epoxy. You can see the squish is gone pretty well and this part of the floor is really bad you can see that moving back and forth pretty good there so I've drilled the holes there and already started to epoxy you can see going down here I've drilled the holes I've marked out my spots on the floor that are soft I've marked out my intervals here where I've drilled my holes of course we've uh, already removed everything in here the battery compartment bracket and all that lifted the rug up we've cut the linoleum out and there was a shower door as you can see up there on the bed and that cut it all out in the bathroom the floor is good in the bathroom itself but to get the uh, floor, to get all the lino out, we had to take it all out. So, what I am using for the floor is I'm using the West System Epoxy Hardener and Resin. I use the Fast Hardener, so the 105 Epoxy and the 205 Fast Hardener. It gives me about a half an hour work time, not a little more. I keep it... Uh, right now because we are in uh, in Alberta you can see it's snowing out it's a little colder out so I've got the heat on myself being mobile I don't get a, a shop to work in all the time so I got the heat on in the motorhome I'm keeping it fairly cool so not to increase uh, the setting time of the epoxy so I'm going to start mixing up my epoxy here and I will uh, as I get more done on the intervals, I will show you more. Okay, so here we are. We're about to mix up this epoxy. So they have the mini pumps that come along with the West system. It's a one to one mix ratio with the pumps. So one pump of the hardener to one pump of the epoxy resin. So I'm gonna mix it up in my little container here. And then I've got a a syringe here that I will fill up and I will work my way from here to the entrance of the motorhome so inside to the outside don't paint yourself into a corner obviously so you want to work outside and I'm going to keep injecting into those into the holes as it's coming out and if that sorry for the bad camera here trying to do it all on my own if I uh, 
as I get more into this, I'll start buying better stuff so that uh, this will look a little more professional. <laughs> hey, so I have doweling here, and these dowels will go in the holes. So if I'm injecting, if I'm injecting here into these holes, and that's full, and then I come here, and it starts coming up here, and I don't want it to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert those dowels into those holes to keep the epoxy coming this way, so that I don't have it squishing up there, and I'm using up valuable epoxy that way I want it to keep coming forward so that I don't end up pushing it out onto the surface of the floor where it's not needed and it gets down into the middle all right so I'm going to start mixing here now that you see that and I'll uh, get a little ways into this and then I'll uh, show you guys again okay thanks okay so here you can see we've gotten this far here over there all those holes have filled up rather nicely. You can see here as I'm coming along. Sorry, I'm moving a little fast. It's starting to come up here. So what I do when I get a little bubble like this, so I don't have as much to deal with at the end, is I have a nice flat knife, putty knife here. And I just scoop it up, put it back into my bucket, and reuse it. Okay, so here's my uh, syringe try and it's going to be awkward here so there we go I fill my syringe up I'll try and show this as best I can here okay um, find a hole with no epoxy in it press down and in and inject okay you can see it kind of bubbling back up there so I would say that hole is pretty good and that one's getting kind of low, so you can see it's bubbling up there and there, so I'll just keep going along here, filling these holes until I'm, uh, I'm happy, with, uh, happy with the result, or I end up, uh, it ends up coming up non-stop out of a hole, and I will uh, plug it like I did those ones back there, and that portion of the floor went really well, so, okay. I'll uh, come back again here once I get a little further again. All right. So, there we go. Yes, that is a cinder block you were seeing on the floor. There was a bubble that was creating right there. And it was raising up and eating up all the epoxy. So, I had to weight it down with something. And I had a cinder block handy. So, I sat it there to hold it down. So, as you can see here. I have got all of my holes filled and you can see epoxy's coming out of those holes which is fine. I'll deal with that later. Everything is full. Now it's just a matter of waiting for it to set. And I've got a test uh, a test patch of it inside so that I can check it so I don't have to keep coming out here. I've got the furnace on to kind of keep it above freezing in here. So um yeah, I guess there's not too much to say now, is there? Okay, so uh, I will, uh, as soon as it's all set, I'll bring you guys back on and show you how uh, solid the floor is after this. All right, talk to you in a bit. Hey, back again here. We've uh, got the floor all epoxied up now and uh, got it all scraped off all the excess glue and that that was around here as you can see and we've firmed the floor right up now nope that wasn't a very <laughs> alright it's all cleaned up scraped up and that all I used was an oscillating tool with a uh, one of the half moon blades on it. Just ran it across, lifted it right up. It wasn't an issue at all. And now I'm just going to vacuum it clean. And I have one little spot that I found over here. Right there. I'm going to put another hole right there and I'm going to inject some into there. And I'll see if there's any holes I need to fill or anything like that. So, 
there you go that's the completed floor now and all I need to do is put the put the lino back in here and put all the trim work back on and I can get rid of this unit okay so here we are the soft floor with the uh, that I injected with the epoxy so here's the lino it's installed in it now pretty good just getting ready to staple all the carpet edges down and then I'm going to silicone all the edges to stop the roll up put the trim ring back on at the entry step get all the drawers and cupboards and everything all back in and the bifold uh, door that goes in the shower there and get everything all put back together and we will have a finished product there's a couple other things that this customer wanted me to do but that's not really all that intense we have some trim trim up there to put on some fascia board on the slide and then that is that is it all right guys well it's been a, a fun successful project the floor is nice and solid now no more soft spots as i said the soft spots are gone now so i will finish putting everything back together here and then uh kick it out customers coming to pick it up tomorrow Hopefully they will be able to come and pick it up. So, as before, if there's anything that uh, you guys would like to see or anything like that, let me know. Um, if you like the video, I know the quality is not the greatest at this point in time, but as things go on, I'll get better cameras and stuff like that. And maybe I'll even get somebody to hold it so I don't have to try and do both at the same time. Um, but like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I know everybody's going to have something to say. Everybody always has something to say. So, all right. So I'll say have a good night because it's nighttime here. But have a good day, afternoon, whatever the occasion may be. And we'll talk to you guys in the next project. All right.